good morning children how are you all today let us to learn a lesson from political science section and your first political science lesson is the indian constitution actually children constitution is nothing but it is a set of written documents and do you know children indian constitution is a world's lengthiest written constitution yes and our constitution came into force on january 26 in the year of 1950 in the remembrance of this day we are celebrating republic day hope you know very well about this actually the constitution it serves as a set of rules and principles that all persons either the person may be rich or poor doesn't matter of a country has to agree upon as the basis of the way in which they want the country to be governed each and every one is equal before the constitution do you know children about this this is now the second important purpose of the constitution and that is to define the nature of country's political system how the country's political system should be it is this guidance is given by the constitution the countries that have adopted that are following a democratic form of government or polity the constitution plays an important role in laying out such kind of guidelines that govern decision making within the societies here our constitution helps us to live peacefully peacefully have a good healthy and safe society because of the rules that it made in democratic societies the constitution often often again and again it lays down rules that guard against the misuse of authority by our political leaders children political leaders will be having powers so they should not misuse their powers so that a constitution has some particular rules to those political leaders the indian constitution guarantees the right to equality to all the persons and says that no citizen can be discriminated against on grounds of religion race caste gender and place of birth already as i said children our constitution treats everyone equally and even it says that citizens should not be treated partially there should not be partiality especially on the basis of their religion either the person may belongs to the higher caste of the society or lower caste it doesn't matter to the constitution race community or a particular group the next caste gender boy or girl doesn't matter and place of birth the citizen might have born in city or in village it too doesn't matter to the constitution the right to equality is one of the fundamental rights guaranteed by the indian constitution children do you know fundamental rights i hope so you know okay so according to right to equality each and everyone is equal before the law and this rule is made by constitution itself that each and every citizen of the country can feel free to express along with that to lead their life happily the long experience of authoritarian rule under the colonial state convinced indians that a free india should be a democracy in which everyone should be treated equally and allowed to participate in the government so in our country each 
and everyone can participate in the government how can you tell me how come it possible through elections isn't it either the person may be male or female doesn't matter upper caste or lower caste doesn't matter rich or poor doesn't matter but one can participate in the government our constitution was a framed not only by one person but it is a framed by a group of persons around 300 who were the members of a constituent assembly in the year of 1946 children i think you have uh, learned about the formation of constitution in your 6th standard and i hope still you remember that isn't it children our indian constitution has some of the key features now let us to learn about the key features of our constitution the first one is a federalism federalism in the sense here we get existence of more than one level of government in the same country some of the times two parties will start ruling as they will get equal votes that is called as a federalism parliamentary form of government in this section government consists of representatives especially who are elected by the people whom do we elect like mlas and these all separation of powers actually the constitution has separated its powers because the entire constitution it is so heavy to maintain by a single authority so it has divided and it has three organs and those organs are legislature which refers to our elected representatives executive actually it is a smaller group of people who are responsible for implementing laws and running the government and judiciary which is a system of courts which interpret and apply the laws rules that we have to follow and the fourth one is a fundamental rights that already i said to you people that it is the consigns of the indian constitution these fundamental rights protect citizens against the arbitrary and absolute exercise of power by the state and the final one is secularism secularism in the sense a state that doesn't follow any particular religion as official religion that is called as secularism children if you get any doubts you can contact me or else you can text me but while you will be texting please mention your name take care children